personal experience, I've struggled with that in the past. And people have asked me, like, do you ever deal with imposter syndrome or something of the like where you don't think you have it all because there's people with a lot of money coming to you for solutions. So how have you, John, gone about that? Have you faced that or, or are you just 100% confident all the time and, and don't have to worry about <laughs> those kind of problems? Oh, man, it's I for sure early on have struggled with those types of conversations. Absolutely. I think I'd be um I'd be the imposter myself if I said no. <laughs> so I, but honestly, it, it really comes down to at the end of the day, you have to know your worth, understand what you are bringing to the table, understanding yeah. that value behind it. Because at the end of the day, like I mentioned, pain is pain. If you haven't mm -hmm. talked about these, or at least, you know, at the minimum, have had conversations with the ones you love yeah. with these particular, you know, whatever it is, service, it could be anything. Mm -hmm it's gonna it's gonna hit you and rub you in the wrong way you yeah. know or it's going to bring up a thought that may go back to having a, the conversation with a loved one mm. because ultimately you know if you understand the importance behind whatever it is that you're doing i don't think that there are going to be many things in life that are going to shake you if yeah. if anything because right. ultimately at the end of the day if you're being placed in a position to make change it's it's going to be met with a lot of resistance yeah absolutely there's no <laughs> getting around it yeah but you know walking with that confidence it's you know don't get me wrong get you, if there are those there are going to be the moments where you are going to have those um and in my industry we call it the upside down bell curve where it's you start you start and you're uh -huh. talking to anybody and everybody but yeah. then you come to this dip where it's like you're understanding that things are getting really tough and you're going mm -hmm. through those seasons where it's very almost unbearable to get through because, you know, financially you want to sustain yeah. yourself. Right. But if you're able to sustain yourself through that, you see the up curve on the other end. And it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> so That's awesome, man. Wow. I've, uh, <laughs> I haven't heard it said like that, but that is kind of how I've, said it myself like i always find that there's a battle and then right after the battle there's a glorious victory and that's kind of uh i think where <laughs> the bible comes in and, and that's kind of where i shape my life is knowing that whenever there's a hard time there's something else uh far greater on the other side of that but i like the uh as a numbers guy i like the bell curve analogy